In what year, Einstein, did the Prussians defeat the French at Waterloo? I don't know, sir. Why don't you know? You've been told it often enough. I must have forgotten. Did you ever try to learn? No, sir. Why not? There is no point in learning dates. One can always look at them in the book. You amaze me, Einstein. Don't you realize that one can look most of the things in book? That applies to all the facts you learn at school. Yes, sir. And I think you don't see any point in learning facts? Yes, sir, I don't. Then you don't believe in education? Oh, yes, sir, I believe in education. But I don't think that learning facts is education. In that case, perhaps you will be so kind to tell the class the Einstein theory of education. I think it's not facts that matter, but ideas. I don't see any point in learning the dates of battles or even which army killed more men. I would be more interested in learning why those soldiers were trying to kill each other. That's enough. We don't want a lecture from you, Einstein. You will stay in for an extra period today. Although, I don't imagine it will do something good to you. It will not do this school any good, either. I don't know why you continue to come. It's not my wish, sir. Then you are an ungrateful boy who must be ashamed of yourself. I suggest you ask your father to take you away. I am feeling miserable. Not because it was a bad day. All days are bad now. I am feeling miserable because I have to go back again to this hateful place the next morning. I wish my father would take me away. But I know the answer will be I'll have to stay here until I get my diploma. Even going back to his lodgings. Lodgings mean temporary living room. Even going back to his lodgings did not make him happy. His father lived in Milan. But Einstein was sent to Munich for study. He had so little money that Einstein could get a room in one of the poorest quarters of Munich in the slums. Einstein did not mind the bad food and lack of comfort or even the dirt. But he hated the violence. The landlady would beat her children every day. And on every Saturday, her husband came drunk and beat her. In the evening, Albert called Yuri, his friend. I don't want to live in slums. But at least you have a room of your own, Albert. And at least you live amongst civilized human beings, even if they are all poor students. Yuri. Not all of them are civilized. Didn't you hear that one of them was killed last week in a duel fight? And what happened to the one who killed him? Nothing, of course. He is even proud. The authorities just told him not to fight any more duels. He is upset that he hasn't a single scar on his face, which would be a badge of honor for him. Ugh. And these are students. Well. You will be student one day. I doubt it. I don't think I'll ever pass the exams for the school diploma. Einstein's cousin, Elsa, lived in Berlin with her father. One day, she came to Munich. I don't think I will ever pass my exams. I'm sure you could learn enough to pass the exams, Albert, if you tried. I know a lot of boys who are much more stupid than you, but they get past. They say, you don't have to know anything, you don't have to understand what you're taught. You only have to repeat it, in the exams. That's the whole trouble. I'm not good at learning things, by heart. You don't need to be good at it. Anyone can learn, like a parrot. You just don't try. And yet, I always see you, with a book under your arm. What's the one you are reading? A book on geology. Geology? Rocks and things? Science? Do you learn that? No. We have hardly any science at school. Then why are you studying it? Because I like it. Isn't that a good reason enough? You're right, of course. 
Albert. But it won't help with your diploma. Apart from books on science, his only comfort was music. He played his violin regularly until his landlady asked him to stop. The landlady would say, "This crying of violin gets on my nerves. There is enough noise in the house with all the kids howling." Einstein wanted to point out that it was she who made them howl, but he decided it was better to be quiet. After six months alone in Munich, Albert told Yuri, "I must get away from here. It is crazy that I should go on like this. In the end, it will turn out." That I have been wasting my father's money and everyone's time. It will be better if I stop now. And then, what will you do? I don't know. If I go to Milan, my father will send me back. Unless. Yuri, do you know any friendly doctors? I know a lot of medical students, and some of them are friendly. Doctor, no. I've never had enough money to go to one. Why? Suppose that I had a nervous breakdown. Suppose a doctor would say it's bad for me to go to school and I need to get right away from it. I can't imagine a doctor saying that. I must try to find a doctor who specializes in nerves. I will ask some of the students if they know any. Will you? Oh, thank you, Yuri. Wait a moment. I haven't found one yet. Oh, but you will. And if I find one, I don't know if he will help you. He will. He will. I am going to have a real nervous breakdown to make it easier for him. I've never seen you looking nervous. A day or two at school will soon put that right. The other day, Yuri saw him. I can't stand any longer. I really have a nervous breakdown that will satisfy any doctor. Keep it up, then. I've found a doctor for you. You have. Oh, good. When can I see him? I have an appointment for you tomorrow evening. Here is the address. He handed Albert a piece of paper. Doctor Ernst Weil, is he a specialist in nervous troubles? Not exactly. As a matter of fact, he qualified as a doctor only last week. You may be his first patient. You knew him as a student, then? I've known Ernst for years. Keep in mind, he is not a fool. What do you mean? Don't try to pull wool over his eyes. Don't cheat him. Be natural with him. You know, you're the worst liar. So, just explain your condition. Albert spent the next day planning what to tell the doctor. When the time for his appointment arrived, he was worried so much that he was really nervous. I don't really know. How to describe why trouble, Doctor Weil? Don't try. Yuri has already given me a history of the case. Oh. What did he say? Only that you want me to think you have had a nervous breakdown and say you must not go back to school. Oh. He shouldn't have told you about that. Why not? Isn't it true then? Yes, that's the trouble. Now you'll say nothing is wrong with me. And you'll tell me to go back to school. Don't be too sure of that. In fact, I am sure that you are in a nervous state about that school. But I haven't told you anything about it. How can you know that I'm close to a nervous breakdown? Because you wouldn't have come to me if you had not been pretty close to nervous breakdown. That's why. Now, if I certify you that you've had a nervous breakdown and must stay away from school. For a while, what will you do? I'll go to Italy, to Milan, where my parents are. And what will you do there? I'll try to get into an Italian college or institute. How can you, without your diploma? I will ask my mathematics teacher to give me something about my work, and perhaps that will be enough. I've learned all the maths they teach at school and a bit more. Well, it's up to you. I doubt if it will come off, but I can see you are not doing yourself or anyone else good by staying here. How long do you like me to say you should stay away from school? Would six months be all right? Yay.
This is very kind of you. It's nothing. I have just stopped being a student, so I know how you feel. Here you are. Dr. Weil handed him the certificate. And the best of luck. How much? Nothing. If you have anything to spend, invite Yuri to a meal. He's a good friend of mine. And yours too, I think. Albert had no money to spend, but he pretended he had, and took Yuri out to meal, in the evening. Isn't the certificate wonderful? Yes, it's fine. Six months, is a good period. This way, if the worst comes to the worst, you will still be able to come back, and carry on for your diploma. I will never go back to my school. I'm going to take back this certificate, to the head teacher tomorrow, and that will be the end of it. Don't forget, to get a reference from your maths teacher first. I will surely give you the reference. If I write that, I can't teach you anymore, and probably you will soon be able to teach me, will that be alright? That's saying too much, sir. It's only the truth, Albert. Okay. I'll write it more seriously. It was a glowing reference. Mr. Koch made the point that Albert was ready to enter a college or institute for the study of higher mathematics. I'm sad that you are leaving us. Although, you're wasting time in my class. Yours is the only class where I'm not wasting my time. But how did you know I'm leaving, sir? You would not have asked for this reference, otherwise. I thought you would wonder. Nothing to wonder about that. I knew you were going to leave before you knew yourself. Albert was puzzled. The teacher said that Albert was going to leave the school before he knew himself. What did he mean? I will go and ask for an interview with the head teacher. The head is calling you to his room. Well, it saves me from the trouble. I would have to wait for an hour outside to get an interview with him. But the head himself is calling me. I think he is calling me for punishment, for bad work and laziness. Anyway, I have finished with punishments. I'm not going to punish you. Your work is terrible, and I cannot have you here any longer, Einstein. I want you to leave the school now. Leave the school now? This is what I said. You mean, that I am to be expelled? You can take it that way too. But, what crime have I committed? Your presence in the classroom makes it impossible for the teachers to teach and the students to learn. You refuse to learn. No serious work can be done while you are there. Albert felt the certificate of Dr. Weil almost burning a hole in his pocket. Means, he had got that certificate, which said he had a nervous breakdown. He had planned to show the certificate to the head teacher. But now, the head himself expelled him out. The certificate was of no use. I was going to leave, anyway. Then we are in agreement, at least. As it was their last conversation, Albert wanted to tell him what he thought of him and his school. But then, he stopped himself. The head said him to shut the door. Albert ignored him. He walked straight out of the school, where he had spent five miserable years. There was no one he wanted to say goodbye to. In fact, Yuri was the only person in Munich he wanted to see before leaving. His sister Elsa was back in Berlin. Goodbye, and good luck. You are going to a wonderful country, I think. I hope you will be happier there. But, I don't think, that learning facts is education. Why are you studying it? Because, I like it. Isn't that a good reason enough? I've never seen you looking nervous. A day or two at school, will soon put that right. I will never go back to my school. <laughs>